Welcome to the Virtual Coffee Lab. Today we're going to do something special. We're going to roast Amazon's best-selling fresh green coffee on a popcorn popper. Stay tuned. Check it out. That's right, we're going to roast coffee today and we're going to roast it on a hot air popper. And this is the fastest way for a home roaster to get started. Fresh coffee beans that are unroasted, green beans, and a hot air popper. I've got links in the descriptions to both of these. You can find something like this on Amazon for 25 bucks, and you can find this coffee as described in detail uh, for $20 Prime. So check it out. You can get both of these shipped to your house if you're a Prime member in just a couple of days and get started and have the experience of fresh home roasted coffee. Doing a quick search on Amazon for unroasted coffee beans, you'll find these results and you'll see that the Amazon Choice is a three pound bag of single origin unroasted green coffee from Nicaragua. $19.99 prime shipped to your house and uh, that seems like a pretty decent deal about seven a little under seven dollars a pound for green coffee and if it's any good then that's not such a bad price to start out it does identify itself as specialty grade coffee that's really important because that's the type of coffee that we're looking for not just the store-bought stuff on the shelf that's not specialty grade and so here it is I ordered coffee and it showed up my house the next day Prime, and it came in a, not a box, but a, um, a cardboard bag, I guess. And so let's go ahead and open this coffee up, see what it's all about. You can see that this is exactly like uh, what was described on the website. Here's the front and the back. What's interesting is there's an expiration date found here on the left side of the bag and it actually has a, a one-year dating on it, what I, could, what I call a one-year dating. Uh, that really doesn't tell me a whole lot other than, hey, this is pretty fresh coffee. So that's good. We're going to use a scale. We're going to measure this coffee out. And we're just going to measure out probably about 50 grams of coffee. Let's take a look here and see how this smells. Yeah, it smells smells fresh all right we're gonna go ahead and, and weigh this up 50 grams Tears my scale and it doesn't have to be exact I think a good rule of thumb and uh, I wanted to make sure because these popcorn poppers they all vary a little bit I think a rule of thumb would be to fill the beans to the point where inside the hot air popper where the heat vents are, you fill it just to the top edge of the heat vents. But, and we'll see what happens. Sealing up the coffee, make sure all the air is out of it, and we'll pour this into the popper. You can see the ridges inside the heat vent. This hot air popper I've actually modified. I drilled a bunch of holes um, because these things will get really hot. Drilled a bunch of holes in the cover and also in the top and you can see on this top how it's melted. Uh, so you should always be next to your popper. Never leave it. Make sure that uh, you've got a fire extinguisher nearby and that's just standard for any coffee roasting. Bring a bowl of water and put it underneath the, the uh, popper. And this is going to catch the chaff. That's a um, the silver skin. That's a very thin membrane that is left on the coffee beans. These are washed coffee beans. All right, you can hear how this thing's choking when it starts up. There's the heat. I can feel the heat. It's heating up. We're going to see the color change on these beans. Right now they're green. So this bowl is going to start to fill up with a little bit of that chaff. That's totally normal. We just use the water to catch it so it doesn't make a big mess. The first smell you're going to smell is kind of a grassy smell uh, when you first start roasting this. 
and then when the beans start to turn color you'll actually start to smell a little bit of a yeasty bready smell here we'll pop open the top and you can see that the color is already changed it's changed from a green and it's starting now to show a little more yellow and you can see the chaff kind of flying up in the air there when that tops off More chaff is coming off. Let's check the progress. Okay, the beans are now starting to brown a little. More chaff's coming off. So you're going to hear some cracking, and in, in, hopefully you can hear it. And that's a sign that uh, the beans are getting to their um, full roast. Technically, uh, it's called first crack. So this first crack is going to go on for about a minute or two here, and then it'll start to dwindle off. Alright, so now you can see, you can see some darker beans and some lighter beans. I'm listening for crack, and how much you know, more crack there is, watching the beans, smelling. You use your senses while you're roasting this coffee, you don't want to burn it. Cracking is just about where I want it to be, so I turn off the roaster. And I'm going to dump it real quick. There's going to be a little bit of smoke. And you can see that these beans look pretty good. Now, some of you like your coffee roasted dark. Um, and that's fine if you want to do that. When you roast it dark, it's going to smoke more. So you might want to have this on your on top of your stove with the vent running. So as you can see, we're not roasting a lot of coffee at one time. Really, one or two servings is really what you're going to get uh, per uh, setup and use on your popper. But, you know, you can smell this coffee. It smells pretty fresh, actually. And so we're going to go ahead and taste it and see what it tastes like. Uh, I would expect this to have a better taste using a real roaster, like a full-blown coffee roaster, compared to a hot air popper. But you can look at the reviews on Amazon and see that a lot of people are doing this. They're using a hot air popper, roasting this coffee on there, and they seem to be happy. So let's see what it tastes like. It's interesting. Uh, I think the Amazon description said that there was going to be a um, low acidity if any acidity there would be like a citrus and I'm getting kind of a like a, a lemon rind kind of a citrus in there I'm also getting a little bit of nuttiness or a dark dark uh, chocolate kind of on the, a little bit on the bitter side and I think that's because I over roasted the coffee a little bit this is a little darker than what I prefer in my roast level and that's something that can easily be adjusted when you use the hot air popper I may, the next time I do this, add a little more coffee into the hot air popper just to kind of uh, cause it to take a little longer to roast. The roast went pretty quick. But uh, for a hot air popper, this is not a bad cup of coffee. Um, and for somebody who's roasted on a, a real roaster and been buying specialty coffee, some really high cupping score coffee, um, this would be on the lower end of that. But this compared to buying something store-bought uh, or something you get served at a cafe um, not a, like a not a third wave high-end uh, roastery um, but like if you just go into like a Starbucks or something this is better than Starbucks you can actually taste flavors in this coffee there is the roastiness or the the little bit of the um, the ashiness or the char that some people call that but that's all based on the roast level and so you pay attention to how you operate your hot air popper you watch the color and the smell and you'll know exactly when to pull the coffee to dump it and begin to cool it immediately so this isn't so bad I'm excited to try this on the roaster and see what kind of coffee quality I can really get out of it so so far this is good I would recommend giving it a try. The hot air popper is an easy entryway to get into home roasting and it's fun and it's definitely fresh coffee so I would check it out. I appreciate you spending time here with me on my video. Um, please subscribe if you can. Hit the like button that tells 
YouTube that something good is going on here. And if you're interested in seeing more videos, hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when there are new videos that come up. So thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time at the Virtual Coffee Lab.